So why do onions make us cry? So when you are chopping and slicing up onions, it releases a compound into the air and this enzyme known as sulfuric acid irritates the nerves in our eyes and makes us cry. So I have a great harvest here of some sweet walla walla, some red onions from my garden. I've also harvested a whole bunch of green onions, which don't seem to give off that gas. They don't irritate the eyes. I've already chopped up and froze a bunch of them. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily chop up your onions and store them away in the freezer so you have them at hand whenever you need them. And also I'm going to share with you a few tips to try that will hopefully help lessen those tears. And I just wanted to remind you, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my little garden newsletter. I will leave the link in the description box below. So chopping up and freezing a bunch of your garden onions is a great way to preserve your onions from your garden if you have a whole bunch of them and to have easy access to onions all winter long that are ready to throw into your cooking. So one of the problems with chopping up onions, of course, is the gases and the juices that they get off can really cause a lot of tears and it becomes quite uncomfortable doing this job. So there's a few tips I just want to share that I use when chopping up onions that help with that problem of tears and pretty much eliminates the issue when I'm doing it this way. First tip is to chill your onions, keep them in the fridge, have them nice and cold when you go to chop them up. That helps lessen the gases and the juices coming out of them. You can also put your onions into a bowl of ice water. That'll help chill them quickly and you know lessen that release of gases when you're chopping them up. So one of the key things is to have a very sharp knife when you're cutting your onions you have a dull knife it's going to mash them as opposed to you know giving a nice cut I don't peel my onions I just leave the skin on there to start with chop off each end so once I've cut off both ends I cut it again in half and then you can easily peel off a couple layers of that skin to get down to the good part of the onion and from there, you can use your onion to chop up even further. But what I find makes this so much easier and so much less tearful is to use a chopper. So this is the chopper that I have here. The brand is Full Star. I will leave a link to it in the description box below. So I'm using the blade that has these larger squares. It makes a nice size chunk of onion when you're chopping. Also great for all these little onions that you may have I have quite a few small onions from the garden they get to be a little tedious to chop up every time you're cooking so if you take all these small onions and chop them up in bulk freeze them then they're good to go whenever you need them so I can get a couple in here at one time just put them in here chop And then you have some really nice sized onions ready to throw into your freezer bag. You could also use the mandolin. This chopper comes with a mandolin feature if you're looking for more of the sliced onions to have. Either one works really great. So you can portion these out into you know measurements maybe of one cup if you have recipes that you want to just have the full measurement for i just prefer to dump them all into one big freezer bag and just grab a handful as needed whenever i'm cooking you can simply just seal up your freezer bag and once you've got it sealed up, you can simply just flatten out the onions and freeze them in your freezer. I keep them in my kitchen freezer 
just so I have them close at hand when I'm cooking. I can grab a handful whenever needed. They don't tend to freeze and clump together, so you don't have to like flash freeze them in a pan or anything. I just freeze them just like this. So there, as you can see, it is very simple to chop up off your garden onions, or if you buy them in bulk from the grocery store, get them chopped up, freeze them, and have them ready for those evenings when you don't have a lot of time to chop up onions. Don't feel like shedding any tears. And remember, a sharp knife. Chill those onions in the fridge or in any ice bath, and get yourself a good vegetable chopper that will make it so much easier with way less tears. So I hope you enjoyed watching my no tear method of slicing and freezing your onions. If you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit that like button, and we will see you in the next video.